What's up Fortniteers, it's Omnipa here with a video on how to dominate Tilted Towers. My biggest tip is to always find a sniper and then camp a rooftop with lots of traps around you. If you're a disgusting coward that is, this is Tilted Towers. I'm full on chasing all the kills whenever I can, getting all the loot off my dead enemies and winning the game with double digit kills. None of that rooftop camping crap. Chooks aside though, I do like to camp in high places when I'm just trying to win every time. I have a series in that if you're interested. But let's go ahead and get the Tilted Towers action started. When I'm landing, I like to go to the middle grey tower because a lot of people usually go there since it has a ton of loot. It's the perfect bait to feed the superior players such as me and you after you watch this video. I loot around and find a C4 so I try to use it but for some reason, no one came down from the top floor. After getting some wood from these nice pallets, I see some people outside the window. So I take a shot and I get the kill right away because I use the first shot accuracy you get from staying still plus my god tier aiming skills. A deadly combo. I get a lot more shots off but this puny pistol isn't good enough to get more kills so I gotta loot up for a real long range weapon. Second floor has a secret chest if you didn't know. Then, I hear footsteps. If you want kills, you gotta work for it. So I run straight to them and I look around. I check the top floors first and then the bottom floors. Pop them in the head twice after I find them. Then I hear more footsteps, so here we go again. Don't be like these two. They could have heard me coming if they just had a decent headphone and paid attention. It's super important to use your sounds, despite how crappy it is in Fortnite. Now, I hear some people shooting, but oh crap, I'm in the middle of building and only the top or bottom floor has an exit. But this is Fortnite, just make your own exit, screw the people living here, I need those kills. The fight took a while cause he had pretty good movements. He jumped around and everything like you're supposed to in a close range shotgun fight. It took 4 good shots to take Johnny down. Before healing up, I make sure to hide behind the car which saved my life from Darky over here. We're both in the street and not too far from each other. So whoever builds up first here basically wins. They build up too but I go above and block them so I can shoot down on them. I get the kill but almost die cause the rocket blew my feet off. That's usually enough to win most build fights. Always go above the enemies and build ramps above them so they can't go up anymore. Then you can get some free shots from above and win. And remember to get to cover before healing up. Now we're looking pretty good. I got 5 kills and tilted towers which means tons of good loot that we really need cause I'm about to get into the most intense fight of my life. You better get ready for this next kill. Oh my god, did you see that? They were about to burst me in the face for all my health. I was pretty shook at that point. But seriously though, don't just stand still in the open. When I move around, I make sure to jump as much as possible so I'm not headshotted just like that. Then I'm going for this chest behind these walls. I hear footsteps. It's quiet so it's not very close. You always want to go to the rooftop in a case like this where you're not sure where the enemy is and the house is small. Then I use third person to look around and I hear them. So I go in closer and there it is. I shoot him while he tries to run. Pretty easy kill. You just gotta listen for it. And that's pretty much it. In a place where buildings are everywhere, you gotta use sound to your advantage. Listen for it and go for kills when you hear them, especially when they're in a fight. Cause you know where they are now and they don't know where you are. And always be on the move and go above people whenever you can. Now at this point, if I want more kills, I have to go out from Tilted Towers since there's probably not much people left. 7 kills is a pretty good start. But why are we landing Tilted Towers if we're gonna stop at 7 kills? No, it's not enough. So I start going to the mountain right next to me. See if I can spot some prey coming from other places. Cause right now we're on the inner circle and people outside of it gotta bring their butts over here. Once I get up there, I look around and eventually I find me a Johnny W. I'm taking shots at him with my hunting rifle while he's skydiving 3 mountains away. 
It ain't easy. I get distracted for like six seconds, and all of a sudden, I hear Johnny gliding at me. So, you know, I just built like Reddit told me to do. And oh my god, it actually worked. But seriously though, he knew how to build too. But he made two huge mistakes that made him look like he paid for all those battle pass tiers. I'm sorry for putting you on blaster, Panda I got, but it's for the greater good of my viewers. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. First off, where do you think you just glided in from, buddy? You were in the sky, you could have chosen to land anywhere, like above me, right over there, but instead of high ground, you decide to land at this young woman's feet. Is there something you need to tell us, Johnny? Next mistake is when Johnny tried to ramp straight up to me. He realized this was bad, so he built a wall, which would have been the play from the start, but it was too late. Half his health is gone, and we're already too close to back up. Rip Johnny boy. Cause of death, going to ham for those feet. Don't be like Johnny boy. Go for the head, not the feet. Now, we gotta figure out where our next kill that was shooting at us is right now. They're pretty sneaky, but eventually we found them after suffering from some minor blindness issue. We got two hunting rifle shots in, which didn't kill cause it's kinda weak. Good thing we had a legendary boom boom with us and managed to blow them up. As expected of campers, they had nothing good. Since we cleared that mountain, now we move on to another mountain for more action. And it's deja vu all over again. Mr. Noskin goes up to the launcher pad, so we try to snipe them. Unlike John Wick, Noskin didn't care about my feet and also had no mats, so a pretty easy kill. There it is, we're at 10 kills. Pretty close to No Skin's loot, we see a pretty massive base. When new players see these, they get scared and run away because obviously, someone who built such a huge base must be a god, right? Wrong! They're as dumb as my big toe in a dark room full of furnitures. Having a base this big in solos means they can't see more than half of what's going on around them unless they run a marathon to the other side, so this is an easy base raid. I just straight up run there in the open without being noticed. But before I could get up, a new challenger appears, and I'm liking this new guy. He's blowing up the bottom of the base, so I join in on the action. Shoot some mate and break a ramp. The base owner jumps down to stop it though, and we get into a shooting fight. I didn't come out on top, so I gotta go ahead and drink up. Now at this point, the endgame becomes a major build fest, especially with this huge tower blocking everything and making it harder to engage people. Usually you want to build higher than the enemy, but sometimes you don't because it's too high up and you could take fall damage. Like in this case, he goes too high, so I shoot it down. He's smart and backed up though. Then later, he makes me fall down, which actually let me see that he skips like that. Look at that scrawny foundation. I shot it down and he takes some fall damage, so I go in. But this dude is still trying to act tough. I shoot down his ramp and he keeps building. Then we dance for a bit and my periodic blindness kicks in again. I really gotta work on that. I swear if I just saw him, he would have been dead. But I don't so he got away since there's literally hundreds of places he could run to because of the guy who built this ugly thing. But there's a lesson to learn here. When you want to go really high, make sure the whole thing you're building is solid, even the bottom, or else you can be shot down constantly and then have to run away in the end. And if you see your enemy going too high up, make sure to shoot them down to get some easy damage off. Now that our prey got away, we gotta find another one to replace it. So a minute later, I find another Johnny boy sitting in his little base. We boom him it to pieces and got some damage in. Our earlier prey tries to join us, so we gotta move a little to the side and be really cautious when trying to take down Johnny. Honestly, there's not much I can do here since I don't have much explosives against a decent player who turtles up like this while a third player is nearby. I'm just trying to get some shots in through the wall. I ended up getting the kill, but I took way too much damage for it because he had his shotgun out when I was breaking the wall with my AR and got a couple good shots in. I would've probably just ignored him if I didn't have explosives that hurt him at the start because turtling like that is pretty strong. 
Plus, if the other guy had pushed me there, I would have been in big trouble. Now, we gotta look for more kills through all these random structures. So of course, I go up high, and all I see is structures everywhere, and then a meteor crashes into a tree, as if there wasn't enough things going on in this small circle. Give me a break, Epic Games. I see people fighting, so I try to get in there, but then I hear someone below me, and there's no way I can find them through all this rubbish. I also can't even engage the other two because they're on super high natural ground and I can be shot in the back too if I go there. I know, I know, excuses right? If it was Ninja, he would run between three enemies who has high ground and kill them all the moment they peek. But I'm no Ninja, I'm sorry. So I just gotta sit my butt down at this point. Pretty sad stuff when you're trying to get all the kills. I'm pretty sick and tired of seeing all these structures in the way, so I start shooting some down. But pretty much nothing happens still cause I'm stuck, although I do have a better view now which let me get some shots in, but I don't really have a long range weapon to do much. Eventually the storm covers most of the structures, so me and the person below me comes closer and I get a nice headshot off on them. Finally, it's 1v1, so I can move without getting shot from behind. The last guy has really high natural ground, but I got the storm on my side, so I just chill in base in the safe zone. I explode their base, and then I guess they ran out of materials or something? They just ran for it, and I shot them down. It wasn't the most exciting ending because of the dumb huge base, making it hard to finish off anyone who was good enough to constantly build while running away which apparently was everyone. So I had to slow it down and play the storm. But you know, that's what you gotta do sometimes to get the win. So that's how you dominate Tilted Towers landing and then go on to win the game with a lot of kills. If you liked the video, then leave a like and subscribe. I do tons of videos like this and more. Thanks for watching and good luck in Tilted Towers. You know, if it's still there for season four, this might not be the best time to upload this video. Or maybe it's the only time to upload this video.